post game with Mercyhurst head coach Gary Manchel, student athletes Jefferson Lewis and Pippa Jai, coach. Um, we'll have you guys identify yourselves as you answer questions. We'll let you start us off with an opening statement here. Uh, you know, of course, congratulations to East Strasburg. Here, here, here. You can pick up those mics. Uh, congratulations to East Strasburg, man, tremendous ball club. Um, Jeff does a great job. They got two ridiculously really good players inside. I, I thought the difference of the game is way we actually turned them over as opposed to us turning, getting the turnovers. We got 12 turnovers, which is a little bit off with us. We usually average like eight or nine, but we turned them over 24 times. I thought the traps really hurt them. Uh, we, I think the, the nice thing about it is we had a week to prepare as opposed to one or two days. Unfortunately, we play tomorrow. Um, you know, I can't say much about our guys. They just really are connected on both ends of the floor, and I'm happy and I'm proud that uh, they get to enjoy the moment, and we'll just go after it again tomorrow. All right, we'll turn it over for any questions. Coach, uh, looking at the stat sheet, the uh, looking at the stat sheet, coach, the turnovers that you forced, and then the rebounding numbers, do those kind of offset each other? Yeah, I mean, we're small. I mean, we can play two bigs at the same time with Pip and uh, Aiden, but we don't like to do that. Um, we seem to get in foul trouble quite a bit, um, so we kind of want to save some guys as opposed to having them both on the floor at the same time. I, I thought we competed. I thought we competed. Uh, we're one of the top ten teams in the country as far as turnover margin. That's, I think, six a game. So this was 12 a game. We had 12, they had 24. We've been doing that all year. We've been, yeah, we've been doing it um, for the last 10 years. We've been doing that. And like I said, we don't really affect that much. I think the matchup defense uh, was really effective today. And at the same time, you still had the two inside guys having 38 points of their, which is half their points, more than half their points. Overall, I, I just think we just did what we needed to do and we made some big plays down the stretch. With seven turnovers. We had seven? Seven. Okay. And they had 24? Yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you. All right, Pip, just uh, kind of describe what it's like to move on. It's been a you know long career for you here, and to, to get it done, uh, how are you feeling right now? I mean, I feel good. I mean, it kind of sucks that I wasn't able to play for some of the time to get the foul trouble. But it's it's like I'm thankful for being in this position with this group of guys, the coach, and you know it just feels great to move on and get yourself there. And Jeff, a, a balanced approach, obviously for you guys. Um, how does that help you guys moving forward to have multiple guys that are able to uh, to get the job done? Yeah, it really helps. Uh, no defense can really key in on one guy ever. We had a bunch of guys score around 15, and a bunch of guys with nine and ten. So just a whole balance attack makes open shots a lot easier for the rest of the guys. Mark Burdick, Brendan Media. Coach, when you're out rebounded by 20, usually that's not a good sign. So is that something moving forward? You, you know, I think it's probably an obvious question. You'd like to clean up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we could have done a better job. But I think some of the credit has to go to East Strasburg. We haven't really seen a team. And I'm not sure there's a team in the regionals. I haven't seen Winston-Salem play or Virginia Union play that that can rebound with those two guys. Um, I, I thought we, we competed. I thought a couple of times we gave up an offensive rebound in the N1, which really hurt us, hurt us you know, as far as them going on a little bit of a run. Obviously 20 is a lot. The, uh, the thing that can go along the same line of that statistically is if you do a really good job defensively and they miss a lot of shots, there's more chances of them getting rebounds as well. So it, it kind of goes hand in hand. But yeah, I mean, we, we would not like to get out rebounded by 20. But at the end of the day, when you're dealing in March, when you're dealing in the NCAAs, I, I'm a firm believer, just find a way to win and move on to the next game. Playing the early game, there's probably pros and cons. Uh, you know, on, on the day that you're playing, on opening day, I don't know if it's a positive or a negative, but the uh, positive moving forward, when you win, you have more time uh, for recovery. Is that uh, important at this uh, stage of the season? Well, I'm not sure it is. I mean, I think everyone's going to going to play on adrenaline. Everyone's going to used to we're, we're used to playing back to back games with the crossovers and the PSAC. Um, the, the con with the mornings, to be honest, I just don't like the mornings. I'd rather play, and I'm just not a morning guy. So this was this was like too early for me. But at the same time, as long as we win, I'll be fine. And I think the players enjoy it because now they get to watch. They get to watch the team that they're going to play as opposed to you know, scouting the first game and not knowing if we're going to win or lose. Now that we know we won, we get a little bit more relaxed watching the next game. Either player comment on that? 
Well, on that note, I think we're good. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. No.